What's good, y'all? We back with another video. And for years now, we talked about Dougie B's untapped potential, the potential he does have as a drill rapper, and him having the potential to be one of the stars to come out the Bronx drill scene all the way back in 2021. Fast forward three years, and now you got Dougie B's name linked with a robbery involving a five-year-old. And for months now, Dougie B has had a lot of bad publicity with the fan he allegedly robbed, with him having so many open cases that he's had to fight. And to be fair, he has beat a lot of them, with those cases being from 2022, 2023, 2024. But now with his recent arrest and him being locked up for the past couple weeks to months, it looks like him being able to avoid jail has come to an end for the time being. A new article was published involving Dougie B's name where they go into detail of the current robbery case he's fighting and this case being the reason he doesn't have his freedom right now. Dropper Dougie B busted over a pair of violent NYC thefts including robbery involving a five-year-old. A Bronx show rapper with ties to hip-hop superstar Cardi B is facing 25 years in prison for a slew of felony charges over a pair of violent robberies in the boogie down including a stick-up involving a five-year-old authorities said and I don't know why they try to tie Cardi B into this. I don't know if it's political reason. If you all know, a couple of days ago, Cardi B basically endorsed Kamala Harris. You gotta love presidential election years. And I understand Dougie B and Cardi B was on the Shake It song with K-Flock and Bory. But I feel like they're chasing it with even putting Cardi B's name in the first paragraph, the opening statement. But continuing on, rapper Dougie B was among five goons who allegedly ambushed a 33-year-old dad and his young son inside an apartment in the Belmont neighborhood on August 27th. After Dougie B allegedly blocked the man and his child from escaping the dwelling, another perp flashed a gun at the dad and seized his phone, which was used to drain $2,500 from his cash accounts, authorities said in court records. The rapper and his accomplices were busted by police nine days later after he and four others allegedly carried out another violent robbery in the same building. During the second robbery, the September 5th heist, two of the suspects allegedly threatened the victim at knife point and demanded his phones before one of the thieves filched $500 from the man's digital wallet, court records said. Dougie B allegedly approached the victim while gripping his waistband and threatened, I got something for you. Dougie B, who was featured in the 2022 music video with Cardi B, was hit with felony charges by the Bronx District Attorney's Office for his involvement in both thefts, including robbery and grand larceny. And then finally, it says in June, a 16-year-old fan alleged Dougie B stole more than $1,000 in cash from the teen after he flashed dozens of $20 bills while taking a photo with his idol. Outside a barber shop on East 187th Street, Dougie B has denied the incident and NYPD did not respond when asked whether a report was filed. And as far as that last incident, Dougie B did respond to those allegations. Dougie B basically said he didn't rob the fan, but definitely some people around him did. Gang, listen, I'm, I'm going to explain myself one time, gang. I did not rob him, gang. I took the picture with him, gang. You're on my block. You're on Demon Terror. The demons walked past, seen it. My demons did what they did. I did not rob you. Gang. As far as charges go for this case, there's just a list of charges stemming from robbery using dangerous instrument to, to his chop charge being actually displaying a firearm, criminal possession of a weapon, grand larceny, like they said. I don't know what this kidnapping charge is, but there's that. Unlawful imprisonment, another kidnapping charge. Okay. Uh. And yeah, like I said in the intro, Dougie B has been able to avoid any significant time in jail or prison with constantly having open cases. Like I said, I feel like he averages like two, three cases a year and his lawyer be spanking them cases left and right. He's been able to avoid a lot of these cases for the longest. So let's see if the lawyer can spank this one. He has court in a couple of days, so we'll see how that goes. And hopefully he can make bail, be right back out here. And even if he does get his freedom, hopefully he can just stay away from the drugs. Because it's very obvious the talent that he has. And I just feel like the internal demons that he's been fighting with, with the losses of people around him, people losing their life around him, people losing their freedom around him, he's been able to cope with drugs for the last couple of years and it's affected his music a lot. So hopefully he can sober up and realize the opportunity he has and take advantage of it to the fullest extent. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments down below. I'm going to get up through it. I appreciate you for rocking with me. Keep doing y'all. Keep doing me. Be safe. Stay dangerous. Gr